It's a new warning from the National Institutes of Health, a gene that could significantly increase the likelihood of breast cancer, but it's not the gene at risk women are regularly testing for right now. That's right. 11 Alive's Caitlin Ross explains how this new warning is now empowering women to take control of their health. Journalist Carrie Stevens thought she knew about breast cancer. I was working for a healthcare magazine and writing about all of this, so I was super interested. Her aunt was diagnosed with the disease at just 40, but she had tested negative for the BRCA gene mutation that's made headlines for its link to breast cancer. So when her doctor wanted her to get genetic testing, I thought, well, my aunt was bracket negative, there's no point in this, but actually I tested positive for a gene called CHECK2. And I mean, it completely changed my life. Her doctor explained the lesser known CHECK2 gene mutation makes it more likely she would develop breast cancer because her body can't suppress tumors. She recommended a preventative double mastectomy. It was heartbreaking, but it was also empowering because I knew that by doing this, I could change the narrative and not die from breast cancer. Genetic counselor Jordan Hunter says the new scientific discoveries are saving the lives of women who could have ended up with aggressive breast cancers. Really in the past five years, um, our, our genetic knowledge has advanced quite a bit. So CHECK2, ATM, PALB2, there are a number of these other breast cancer genes that we've identified and, and we thought they might be more rare than BRCA, but it turns out they're just as common. Piedmont Atlanta just opened the Helen S. Carlos High Risk Breast Clinic this month to focus on women just like Carrie. And what I'm looking for are specific patterns of cancer that tell us that we should be more suspicious. You know, let's look into doing genetic testing. Nurse practitioner Lori Plummer says surgery isn't the right option for everyone. And there are a lot of options out there for women to reduce their risk, everything from medications to lifestyle modifications. All of it is giving women the opportunity to take control of their health. It's just a disservice to everyone to not know about this gene that could really, really affect people. The CHECK2 gene mutation is tied to breast, prostate and colon cancer. Just three weeks after Carrie's double mastectomy, her father was diagnosed with prostate cancer and tested positive for the CHECK2 mutation. So she says she wants everyone to know what this is and how to identify it to keep yourself safe. 